something for 50 years. You tend to get pretty good at it, right? Yeah, so Cody and his caravan went out live to Wilton, hanging out with the master saddle maker and getting a first-hand look at the craft. Cody, this has been honestly entertaining all morning long. This is great. I honestly, like, I am so geeked out. I, this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, by the way, this, this is not just a saddle. This is Paul's resume. <laughs> so when you wanted to learn more about the craft, you took this in to show it to him. Yeah, when it was brand new, and I went to work for, for Jim. <laughs> he just pulled the saddle up and plopped it down. Okay, I want to talk about reclaiming and, and making an old saddle new. This one right here is a great example. Yeah. So what I did with this saddle, it was an extremely low cannel saddle from the 50s, and I built it up to like about a four-inch cannel and put this roll on it, and I also put new skirts on it, these round skirts. And it was and it was square, right? Yeah, it was square, and they were they were sort of deteriorated. And I put you know buck rolls on, wrapped the horn, and I put a new rigging in, and new fenders, and all new straps and things like that. So, I so the make... idea with a saddle, and in, in, in talking with you this morning, is that you want to be a part of the horse. You don't want to be fighting the saddle. You don't want to have to cinch it up. You know, you, you want it to fit perfectly. Right. Yeah, that's right. You want it to fit so you don't have to cut your horse in two to get it to stay on. And if it's bad enough, it, even if you cinch it real tight, it's not going to hold. You, you rope something and it'll go over mm -hmm. to the side. And then when you were talking about the back of this and how you raised it, mm -hmm. for a while there, it was real popular to have a short, short yeah. back on back it. Back in the 50s, you know, more or less 50s, 60s, early part of the 60s, they had real low candles because of the rodeo and like that. So <clears throat> guys would use them for everyday work too. And that, like that's that. no good on your back. It, is, it, <laughs> it doesn't give you as much security and like that. <clears throat> but things have changed, you know, so the candles have come up like with everything. Like everything, fashion changes all the yeah. time, right? Fashion yeah, changes. and it's more practical too. I, do you mind if I show off some of your belts? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Okay, so he, not only does he make saddles, but he makes incredible belts. Look at the work and the detail in these things. Isn't that beautiful? So, it's... Oh, you, seriously, you are an artist, my friend. Well, thank you. <laughs> so how do you do is that? Is that taking a tool and pressing down on the Yeah, on the you leather? stamp it. You have a, a mallet rawhide mallet and uh -huh. you, you hit it you know you've got to hit it pretty hard <laughs> for each you do you might hit it more than once too just absolutely amazing paul thank you so much mm -hmm. uh once again if you have a saddle you need to be have it repaired or if you're looking for a new saddle uh what do they need to do how do they contact you um you can look on the internet and it gives all my information it's i've got a site there under fantasy saddlery and just it'll give you the number you need to call and all that so all right yep. man i'm learning some stuff today uh coming up in the 10 o'clock hour we're going to show you some of the tools he uses you talking about somebody getting geeky i went nuts over the tools i really did uh but uh cody's caravan we're always looking to meet new people but if you've been at your business like paul has and you've been doing this for 50 years I want to learn, so let me know. Good day at KMAXTV.com. Back to you guys in the studio. Awesome. I feel like, Cody, I can smell the leather from here. How, how good does it smell in there? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it smells so good. Sean and I both walked in. We're like, oh, it smells so good. Uh -huh. It smells so good. It's so familiar, too. Just the smell of a leather saddle, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. All right, Cody, thank you.